the name of Jesus, Lord God, that our faith may be increased, Lord God, that we may be pleasing in your sight, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We bind up fear and we loosen faith in the name of Jesus, and we ask that you get all your glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I want to say thank you to Mama Jackie for just putting in the work to be able to have this place so that we can learn the things of the Lord. Amen. amen. And Bishop Bonnie Ray amen. as well amen. for just being Hallelujah. a father to many of us that we never had and showing us the example of God. I want to thank my husband and I want to thank my family and I want to thank God. The topic that I have today is called Faith That Pleases. My subtopic is Faithful Until the End and Press. So we're going to go to Luke 18 and 8. Luke 18 and 8. I say unto you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, with the Son of Man coming, shall he find faith in the earth. Hallelujah. We're not going to make it to heaven unless we have faith. That's right, that's right. And we're in these last days. And it's going to be more trying than it's ever been. Right? Um, we have to keep our faith and we have to stay focused with everything being around us and we can't get carried away with the cares of the world. Amen. And Genesis 6, 6 through 8, the Lord, this is what the Lord said. He, the Lord said that he was sorry that he had made man on earth and he was grieved in his heart. The Lord said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, from man to animals to creeping things and to birds of the sky, for I'm sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord, in the eyes of the Lord. So Noah kept the faith. He stayed focused. Amen. And so it's examination time because when those those doors to the ark close, no man can open it. So we got to preach the gospel while we yet have time. Amen. Because we literally are in the last seconds. And I'm going to testify like my sister Adana did. I began to be, get um, wavering in my faith. Amen. Because I began to start believe I was hearing things from the Lord about, you know, being in the last days and preaching the gospel and that not everybody going to make it. And that began to, that began to weigh on me. And it's like, we're not in control, y'all. We can only do what God tells us to do. Amen. And so we find ourselves wrestling with God because we want things done the way that we want it done. But God, I want this person saved. God, I want this family member saved. And God is saying at the end of the day, I'm not going to force nothing upon nobody. They have to make the choice and the decision for themselves. Amen. So we got to know that faith comes with a fight. Hallelujah. To stay in this in this race, we got to fight. He said, put on the helmet of salvation. Amen. This hope that we have in glory in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He said, have faith in God and in Jesus. Amen. So we got to examine ourselves and make sure that we in the faith. We can't be like the Pharisees. They believe they was going to get in on their work. And like one of my uh, the, uh, preachers said that without faith, it's impossible to please God. Amen. And not only that, faith without works is dead. Yes. He said, show me your faith and I'll show you my works. My show Jesus. me your works and I'll show you your faith. You got to have both. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It took faith for us to quit living that lifestyle we was living, to leave that man or that woman, hallelujah, to quit smoking, drinking, and clubbing. That same faith that got you here is going to get you through. In fact, our faith is increasing, hallelujah. Faith is growing us up, amen. We're maturing in the things of God, amen. He said, not my will be done, but your will be done. That's what the Father said, that his will be done, amen. Everything ain't going to go our way. We're not going to like everything that the Lord want to do. Amen. But are you still going to press? Hallelujah. Press in the things of the Lord. Glory be to God. We're going to go to uh, Acts 17 to 29. Acts 17 to 29. And this, this, this whole chapter had me for a while. Because Paul, he was preaching the gospel, right? And he was preaching Jesus and the resurrection. See, that's one thing that our faith has that no other faith has. No other faith, none of that God's little genes rose from the dead. So whenever we preach the gospel and we tell them, but my God, he rose from the dead. Amen. Hallelujah. Things have to change. Amen. And they can't fight with that. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Not only did he rise from the dead, hallelujah, but he lives inside. 
He said, being then the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is likened to gold or silver or stone graven by art and device of man. The times of ignorance, therefore, God overlooked. But now he commendeth men that they should all everywhere repent. And as much as he have appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he have ordained, Jesus Christ, whereof he have given assurance unto all men and that he have raised him from the dead. Now when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked, but others said, we will hear thee concerning this yet again. Thus Paul went out from among them. Hallelujah. So in this, in this scripture, I don't want to read the whole um, the whole uh, chapter, but when he went to this, this, this place right here, they were like having an ear to hear him because they liked the new things. They were philosophers. So they liked it for their mind to be stimulated. So when they heard about Jesus being preached and him being resurrected, they was like, hmm, I'm interested. I'm curious, right? So some came in closer and some went away. But he was saying that every time people, this is what God was speaking to me, that a lot of times people say, God is doing a new thing, a new thing, a new thing. But Satan doing a new thing too. And so some people, they, they don't really want Jesus. They don't really want God. They just see something new going on. And so now God said, we got to have discernment in these last days. So he said, now that all of God to stay for. Amen. He said, the five lives versus, amen. And that we can't be giving our all to the pigs. Amen. We can't be wasting our all. Hallelujah. Because when Jesus comes back, we got to have all and we got to be full. Amen. Because I want to make it in. Amen. So no longer can I just be throwing up pearls to pigs. If you want Jesus, come on. Jesus. Here, I got Jesus for you. But if you just want to play, you got to have discernment because the Satan is sending his devices in this last hour to try to wear out the saints. How you know that? Because in Daniel 7 and 8, it said that the saints was going to be worn out. Amen. So God said that we got to have wisdom so that we can make it in. Amen. Because when that ark closed, no man can open the door that Jesus shuts. And no man can close the door that Jesus opens. Amen. Amen. So we have to be diligent. He said, God said he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Yeah. Diligent characterized by steady, earnest, and energetic effort. Did you know the more likely to be diligent, the more likely you are to be diligent about something if you love doing it. So you're more likely to be diligent if you love doing something. So we have to love Jesus. Love and faith go together. They work together. He said faith, love, and hope. But the greatest of these is love. Hallelujah. So we got to let love and faith work together. We got to stay in the love of God. Remember that he has, what he has done for us. Listen to worship songs. Sing melodies unto the Lord. Amen. We come together. We fellowship. Amen. We are the church. But we come together to fellowship one another, to build one another up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord be God. We can sing songs to one another. Somebody got a revelation. Somebody got a word of wisdom. Somebody got a word of knowledge. Somebody got a word of prophecy. Glory be God. Somebody got the spirit of discernment. Amen. Trust, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Not seen in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We need faith and obedience. How can we say that we love him and we don't obey him? Oh, and I don't want us to get into condemnation, but sometimes I'm hard on myself. And I can get into condemnation real quick because I want to do things right. I want to be pleasing to God, right? Because without faith, it's impossible to please him. But when we get into condemnation, then we find ourselves going back and forth. And then we find ourselves creeping over and over there to doubt. You see how easy we can creep on over there now? Man, I didn't do this right. Man, I didn't say that right. So then, guess what? Fear tearing us down, and faith builds us up. So what are we playing in our head? We cannot be playing fear. We got to play faith. You know what? I counsel that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll bother and I'll lose something in a, in a, in a minute. Hallelujah. Because God said it in his word. And if God said it, then that settles it. Hallelujah. Hey, I'll stop the in the Kiera. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I'll stop putting my eyes on Jesus. Yeah. Because a lot of times, put stuff on our shoulders and we're trying to carry that weight but we got to let Jesus carry that weight amen because he the one that did it Nike and running down the cross hallelujah I can't take nobody to heaven all I can do is tell them about Jesus and they got to make the choice for themselves glory be to God David had so much faith so much faith because he had a relationship with God he built his trust in God he saw God use him to deliver the sheep out of the lion's mouth when it came time for David to defeat Goliath, he trusted God because he had built that relationship. So faith in relationship, we got to have relationship with God. Because that's why he said that many gonna come to him in the last days. This ain't even in my notes. And he gonna say depart from him because they didn't have a relationship with him. So sometimes I gotta find myself and I gotta get away in God's face and I gotta say, God, you know, deal with me. If I'm not where I need to be, I need you to deal with me, Lord. Because I don't I don't want to see God and I don't want him to say depart from me. Hallelujah. He said, worship him in spirit and in truth. Spirit and in truth. God, sometimes we just gotta be real with God. God, this is I don't like this, this don't feel good. And I find that when I start being real with him like that, then he'll meet me right there. Yes, Lord. yes, hallelujah. Joseph had to have faith and wisdom. Don't leave our wisdom. He said, all we have to do is ask, and he'll give it liberally. liberally. Joseph had a whole lot of faith. He spent all those years in jail for something he didn't do. He was persecuted. His brothers lied on him, and he was forgotten about. He never gave up his faith. He forgave. He used wisdom in countless times. He was able to interpret the dreams through the gift that God gave him of interpretation. Seven years principal and seven years family. A lot of people walk around and say, oh, I got faith, I got faith, I got faith. But God said, I'm giving you things so that you can be prepared. He said, get prepared. But people say, oh, I got faith, I got faith. But they don't have the works. They go back to, you can't have the faith without the works. You got to get prepared. Yeah. And in Proverbs, it says that in the summer, the Proverbs 31 woman, she has no lack when the winter comes. Why? Because she's getting prepared in the summertime. People of God, we have to do wisdom so that we can be with God once church with the light, amen, when, the, when everywhere else is dark, we will not be in a family. They'll be coming to us, so they'll be looking like, oh, they be coming to Joseph. Okay. Joseph had all the money. He had all the rights. Because Joseph listened to God. He kept his faith. It wasn't annoying that people was talking about him. They didn't believe what he was saying. A rain gonna come. They ain't never seen rain before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They like, what? What is this crazy man doing? Uh -huh. But when that door shut, hey, hey, go, 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 go. Hey. Hey. Daniel, he went through the furnace. And they said, turn up that heat seven times hotter. Y'all, we in the last days. Hey, when the fire comes, we got to be able to stand because that fire ain't going to do nothing but make us pure gold. It's going to take out all the impurities. Hallelujah. So, Father, burn it away. It don't feel good. Come on, I know it don't feel good, but it's for the glory of God. We can't trust the man, we can't trust in the government, not even in ourselves. We have to trust the word of God because he said everything gonna fall away, but not his word. And again, we're not in control, God is. And this was a hard lesson for me, y'all. I had to learn how to, to, to surrender again. When I came to Christ, I surrendered. I gave up everything. I didn't have nothing. <laughs> it was kind of a little easy to give it up a little bit. But at the end of the day, I still could have went back to the world. But I was like, man, I didn't try it. I didn't try it. I'm broken. I went to Houston, Texas for seven years and got a degree. And when I tell you I came out of there a mess, I came out of there broken, dreams shattered. I was going to be the one to break a generational curse. I wasn't going to have a baby out of wedlock. I was going to get married. And when all these things happened and I was shattered, I was broken to pieces. 
But I had a baby to look after. And I had to look to God and cry out to a true and living God. And when I tell you he met me where I was, he met me where I was. He sent his angels to a camp about all of us. So we here for a reason and we have a purpose. Glory be to God. So we have been picked. We have been chosen for this last day of silence in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. And just remember to surrender to stay meek, humble, and lowly in spirit like Jesus. Because ultimately, that's what it's all about. It's all about becoming like Jesus. That's our high calling. Let me see. And we're going to be healed and we're going to be set free and delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. God wants us to be delivered. You know, we got to come out of agreement with things. I've got to come out of agreement. I may have watched something that I shouldn't have watched. Because I want to watch a Netflix movie. I don't watch movies that much. But sometimes I do. And, and I just got to be mindful, God. If it was something that I watched, something that I said, yeah, some place that I went, something that I did, something that I thought, Come on, God. that wasn't pleasing to you, Lord God, cleanse me. Yeah. So sometimes we sit up here, we wonder why our prayers is not getting through. We wonder why we're feeling this way and that way because we haven't cleansed ourselves. We got to come before a holy God and ask him to cleanse us. Amen. We can't clean ourselves. The Holy Ghost got to do it. Amen. We got to give the Holy Ghost his office space in the name of Jesus. And that's my word. Amen. All right, y'all. Amen. Let's get it up to Jesus. Shoot, man, we're dynamite.